Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic inequality. And at the very end, we are going to graph it on a real number line. So in the very first step, to keep things simple, let's pretend that we have an equal sign instead of inequality. That's going to make life little easier. So let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation for x. So we can solve by factoring. Okay, the factoring is going to be a lot simpler. So let's go ahead find the possible factor that's going to be x plus 7 and x minus 5. Now I want you to split them up. So x plus 7 equal to 0 and x minus 5 equal to 0. That means x equal to negative 7 is one of our solution and x equal to positive 5 is another one. And in the step 2, as you can see, I have put it back my inequality symbol and we already got these solutions over here. They are not exactly solutions, but just see how we're going to do this thing. Our next step is always remember whenever you have a, this kind of inequality, we're going to have an open circle. And here are the basic kind of rules I have put it down to help you out. And now let's go ahead and graph this our inequality. And here I have put down our real number line. Let's go ahead and see where our negative 7. So negative 7 and we know that's going to be open circle. I'm going to put down negative 7 has an open circle and positive 5 has an open circle as well. That's the very first thing you must do. The next thing I want to make sure over here whenever you have an greater than sign always remember greater than means it's going to be opposite direction. So that means our graph is going to go the in the opposite direction one is going to go this direction and the other one is going to go in this direction so that means this side is going to be simply you're going to say x is less than negative 7 and here is going to be obviously x is greater than positive 5 and our solution is going to be a simply you just put down these two inequalities I'm going to put down x is less than negative 7 then you put r over here and then x is greater than 5 this is your solution and this is our graph now if you are wondering why these is these are going opposite directions here is the justification I can give you briefly and let me give you a justification over here here is our x axis and this graph represents our this quadratic function okay and now as you can see that we have inequality greater than always whenever we have a greater than means our graph is always going to be above axis if you are looking at above axis means so this is the part you are looking at it over here and on this side keeps going on and on and on and now if you want to look at it on this number line only that's going to be only this part, isn't it? This part and this part as well. So no wonder I put it down this on the real number line, this graph. And also if you want to put uh, your solution in terms of set notation, it's not really hard. You just put down x such that x is less than negative 7 or x is greater than that's all you have to do and if you want to put in an interval notation look at this thing over here this side it is going to be going to negative infinity here and this side is going to be positive infinity and if you want to put in an interval notation 
this part is only negative infinity to negative 7 and on this side positive 5 to positive infinity so i'm going to put down negative infinity to negative 7 and we want to combine them always put a union u like a union symbol and then 5 comma positive infinity and that is our solution so this is our graph these are our solution thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos